And okay. that's my old tractor behind the wood pile. And that's Harold's uh, tank for the back of his pickup truck, which is broken down along with his skitter. And, well, that's another story altogether. <laughs> Now, I don't know whether that stopped or not. I can't tell if it's going or not. Yes, it says record. Okay, guys, well, uh, now that I figured out how the camera works, um, that's uh, the, all the stuff that Harold cut a couple years ago. Uh, we're going to use some of that for a hen house. And now we're out at the front pasture. And I want to, we got some new uh, poles in down there that Harold put up. I want to get those strung this year and go down a couple more poles from the ends where the road comes in and make a straight shot right across of the, the pasture with that. And I want to put uh, one pasture here and one below it. And then another year I want to clean out that clean out that and we'll have five pastures here which should be plenty for uh, letting graze uh, goats or sheep or something anyway that's a thought <laughs> now I'm taking pictures I'm not going to do it anymore okay so we'll uh, take a walk out back here and Take a look and see what's going out back. There you go. There's the bonehead in the water, which incidentally is not running. We hope it's disconnected way up in the woods. Now we're here at the garden. Down there is a pond. I'd like to get dig that out and uh, get a pump so that we can pump onto the garden water from there because sometimes in the summer it gets really hot and the garden needs to be watered and right now there's no way to water it but if we make that a big pond and there's a, already a good sized pond there uh, we can pump that onto the garden right there and that will serve as a water and that part of the garden uh, as well when I'm uh, this is the this is the part of the garden that I want to plant this year get, get fertilized this year Paul is Paul is tripping on parsnips right now. Yeah, parsnips. <laughs> yeah, parsnips. Oh, my kingdom for the devil god, parsnips. <laughs> That's Paul. Anyway, this is part I want to get fertilized and lime down and every, everything. I can get this growing this year. And that part up there, I'd like to make this into three separate gardens and get that part covered with plastic this year. And... Uh, then that will kill all the weeds and everything. So by the same time I pick the plastic off next spring, I've got beautiful soil up there. If you can see it, but uh, all the stuff coming off those cattails, those are seeds, and they're uh, blowing down towards the swamp down there. So maybe we'll see some cattails coming up down there someday too. Right in front of me, that's the uh, skeet launcher. We did shoot skeet out here last year, and I actually shot my share of birds though so I'm getting better at that the picnic table though needs a little work before it completely rusts away we're a careful we can uh, uh, get a get a, a coat of uh, poly on it this summer year and that'll just save it for a few more years too over there I used to have a garden I was thinking of uh, getting it tilled up and uh, skipping where the rocks are and then uh, boxing it in and building some raised beds gardens on the hillside there and uh, covering them with uh, four foot plastic so you could grow stuff uh, year round right there. Okay, I really can't see it, but there's the solar panels. Those aren't hitched anything. Um, those have been up on the tower and used uh, up there for the last two or three years. So those just came back. But those are powerful enough to power an electric fence. Uh, a solar pump, a lot of different things that uh, could run off those panels. Actually set those panels up to charge batteries and then just take batteries around. Um, that, that's what I'm going to do with those panels. And here's the trailer that I thought I can probably 
make a trailer out of. If I can clean the top of this stuff off, this we we actually went camping in this thing, and now it's gonzo. But uh, I think the trailer would actually work for a small equipment trailer. You know, to haul lawnmowers and stuff like like that between here and home with. What's that? Somebody they, they might give you a hundred bucks for it. Uh, if you could talk him into uh, uh, redoing it as an ice shanty. Uh, yep. You might be able to get a hundred bucks for it. But I think it's probably pretty well gone to do that with now. Well, you take your, your old wife's scumbag down on down his luck ice fisherman uh -huh. for a hundred bucks and a little bit of, you know, free go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you say so. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Are these maples right here coming up? The big stand of maples? Okay, and there's a uh, garden and the pond, and here's a backup pond that Harold dug with a um, the skitter last year. Hopefully, uh, he gets this thing going. Uh, we can maybe grow this one down there and go all the way from the edge where it rolls off right around through to here, and we've got uh, another pond down here. So that would be two big ponds and one little pond. And that down there is Harold's peg pen from a couple of years ago. And last winter's snow got on the roof and brought it down. So we didn't have any snow this year. And last year we had tons and tons of snow. So, hey, that's life in the Northeast Kingdom for you. Um, Harold's got that pen out back that uh, the, <laughs> the pigs kept getting out of. But with a little work, I think you could actually get a good pig pen in there. But then again, with an electric fence and that solar panel, um, we can fence the pigs in the woods and let them root all they want and improve the woods and just keep them in with an electric fence. So that's something to think about, too. How deep is the mud? <laughs> Paul stepped in it right there, and he went up to his knees.